G'day guys, welcome to another episode of the Upshot Project. My name's Hayden, uh, Selene is unable to uh, attend this uh, recording of the video because she's actually getting her eyes done. And by that I don't necessarily mean like makeup, I mean literally getting her eyes fixed. And she'll have 20-20 vision after that. Let's get right into the video. After six months of planning and putting together files and literally sending all these exemptions to the Australian government so that way Solan can get into Australia later this year. So to give you guys a bit of a backstory into our relationship, I'm gonna try and spitfire everything that has happened up until this point inside about 30 seconds. If you don't give a crap, no worries, skip ahead and see our reactions. Otherwise, prepare yourselves for one of the fastest said backstories there ever was. So in July 2018, we met for the first time in Ireland while traveling. We met up again later over Christmas of that year. Then a few months into 2019, we actually met in Spain where our union began. And we traveled through Europe, seeing Spain and or our France, Poland, Czech Republic, even Morocco, which is not Europe, before we had to go back to our respective countries before Saul came over to Australia for the fire-ridden Christmas of 2019 before needing to leave again in January 2020. COVID was a bitch and I actually couldn't fly to Canada in May as planned, but was able to get exempted to leave Australia in November, 11 months after we'd actually seen each other. We have lived together ever since and it has recently passed the six month mark as we now plan to move to Australia. Poof! Yes! Now that is how you speed read. I have no idea on the time, but I think if you endured that, you can endure anything. That's really intense, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, I... Attempt two. So if we don't have it, we'll reapply straight away. Oh. Uh. Mm. Still, third attempt. A bit more because I've applied on my uh, my account, but I feel like it doesn't really count. So yeah. <laughs> Who was that? Christina. Christina this time. Thank you, Christina. It took longer this time. Number oh, four. It's been a week. <laughs> it's not normal. <gasps> I've been exempted. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think I want to cry. Mon amour. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go on the official website. <laughs> We're not sure. <laughs> so, yeah, it, though it's not the standard exempt, yeah, not exempt. But it's saying that I, I meet the requirements. Exempt. Woo! <laughs> 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 We've finally done it. I'm like over the moon. So we applied four times, which is considerably less than what we expected to actually apply. We've seen people apply dozens of times and not get accepted, be married and not get accepted, have kids together and not get accepted, and yet we are feeling so fortunate that we have got to this point that our document was convincing enough for someone else to dictate whether or not we are in a relationship. Always good. At the end of this, we just really want to say a huge thank you to everyone that helped us out. That includes everyone we didn't even know through a Facebook group called Partners Apart. There's people on there that are like immigration lawyers and also people who have experience in getting exempted who have shared their experiences and were able to help us in to get to this point. For me to leave Australia and then for me to bring Solen home. I just cannot stress enough how much that means to us and anyone that's in a similar boat I'll be linking the Facebook group down below uh, so go check that out but it would be remiss of me to forget anyone other than my friends my family Selene's friends and family for supporting us during this time particularly with the pandemic that has affected everyone in different ways thank you so much for being there for us and 
it's really meant the world to us. I know that I'm the only one standing here speaking about it right now, but I think you could see the emotions on our faces, or at least hear it in our voices. And as we close out, please, if you have any questions on, on how to leave or how to enter Australia at this time, do not hesitate to leave a comment below or even send us a message privately on Instagram or Facebook. Uh, links are in the description as well. And if you haven't already, guys, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for all our updates coming up, and we'll see you guys in the next video. At the end of all this, we just really want to say, oh yeah, hands on hips, that's a good look. No, 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 use your hands, you know. It's a good thing this thing's waterproof, eh? That was 100% worth it. And now I'm getting funny looks from Sol's dad, so definitely worth it. These do not, uh, I love how English is my only language and I can't even say just basic sentences. It's the most infuriating thing. All I gotta do is talk to a camera and she's good to go. Alrighty guys, welcome to another episode of the Upshot Project. Uh -huh.